this issue of creating concentric circles, um, I've got no. Um, you can do it either way. You can do it with a bend or with a contour. And whilst the contour tool is my favourite tool in Zara, um, I think in this case uh, a bend is a better um, method to use. Um, and I'll just try and explain briefly why I'm going to create a small circle there using the ellipse tool and holding down the control key so it's a circle. Um, I'm then going to go control K to clone it and with the um, scale line width not set I'm going to hold down the shift key and drag select that out. Video recording is a bit slow. I'll just move that up a bit. So you've now got, if I go control all, we've got two ellipses, which are in fact are circles. Um, and then you can just clone from one, uh, blend from one to the other. Um, and they go from there to there. Um, you can make that 20 steps if you want more steps. The beauty of that is that you can then also select that that in a circle by holding down the control key and just clicking that. You just get the one one eclipse in one ellipse inside layer one, um, and I'm going to call, control hold down the control alt key, which allows me to move the mouse. And I, as you see, I can to move that. You can get concentric circles, but the concentric circles don't have to be all centered um, as before. Similarly, you can then go again into the blend mode, select the blend, one blend, and then go into the position profile, and you can move these profiles around as you want which is obviously something you can't do in the contour tool um, so there's a lot more to be said for in this particular case uh, using the blend tool anyway I hope that helped this is Egg, goodbye